So the CEO of BitMEX, Arthur Hayes, believes Bitcoin is now on its journey to $20,000. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through the technical analysis side of the Bitcoin charts and giving you my targets for the upside potential here and to the downside. So hope that you thoroughly enjoyed today's video where I have to be starting with this exponential move to the upside that we have just witnessed here on Bitcoin. And let's firstly cover the reasons why this happened. OK, it was a very big short squeeze, which is in a short amount of time, price is forced to the upside as shorts that are shorted at the bottom here are forced to cover at market along with the liquidations. How can we tell this? We can just keep our eye on the open interest during the move and also just well, very simply the liquidations and they were coming through in their millions, okay? So that obviously speeds up this move and you just, you know, go straight through all resistances here, all resistances horizontally. You just went straight through them on this move up like butter, like butter. And that's just, a, a, you know, a classic short squeeze where, you know, everybody starts covering a market. Just like if you remember back to 6K, everyone was imagining 6K to be, you know, a potential resistance. And with the same, you get a short squeeze straight through the level. OK, so with that covered, um, what does that leave us with now? OK, let me just first say as well, yesterday... There were signs technically that we were moving up and that was from personally, it was my idea on the, uh, you know, the, the the parallel channel here on the line chart this is. So we had a very nice parallel channel that was obviously broke and retested. OK, so you did retest that. And this is day trading yesterday. So day trading yesterday would have only been short. So, OK, day trading a short yesterday was a bad decision. But on the long side, that was obviously a good long from the back test of this moving upwards. For transparency, by the way, I was also in a short and I was bigger net short, but at the same time, I was was taking this day trade long so in the end that obviously went very well my short note so not so much uh, but never mind and that now leaves us with the new range that the market is in right now okay this very very tight range okay what we can see here you remember me a few days ago when I you know my last video on YouTube was saying the potential for short squeeze down here and if we move up keep your eye on the 10,319 level as we all know that was the monthly to keep our eye on and today it came in perfectly okay what did we do last night we saw our move up okay to around the 10,000 1500 range what can we see the 10500 was okay that was obviously the 382 fibonacci okay so overnight we saw rejections two rejections from the 382 fibonacci and what did we come and back test perfectly it was that all so important monthly level okay so we had our bounce of a 10300 and a very nice bounce indeed about four and a half percent in the end from our monthly 10319 to guess what the next monthly 10761 so that is just absolutely perfect Perfect, perfect monthly levels there it's from support to resistance. And now we can just safely say we are range bound between these two levels. OK, maybe we're forming some form of symmetrical triangle in the end here. Maybe we'll get a symmetrical triangle with continuation to the upside. That's obviously going to take uh, probably about one or two hours for this to, you know, play out. Uh, but that's something I've got an eye on. OK, um, and, you know, or we have to acknowledge, okay, let's just take a quick look here at um, at the divergences. There's very small bearish divergences, okay? So one can acknowledge, yes, we are obviously seeing here from our last peak to this peak, a, you know, a lower on the MACD, on the momentum, RSI also down with a move up. So bearish divergences, but that is never really a short signal, bearish divergences. It's just showing you, a, you know, the moves are not as strong, but after such an increase in, in uh, you know, price, the secondary moves are never going to be as strong. OK, so that's just something to bear in mind uh, when you're looking at RSI. OK, so then in the medium term, OK, in the very short term, I am literally looking to trade this range. OK, one could say support uh, 10,500, OK, 10,500 down to 10,319. Really, that monthly, we are now between two monthly levels. OK, so it's not easy to go through. Well, <laughs> here we went through it very easy, but this was in the midst of a short squeeze. Uh, but now, you know, you go back to proper technical analysis and you're looking at 10,761 resistance, okay, and 10,319 support between these two monthly levels, okay. What could we say on the mid-term, mid okay, so mid-term, okay, and I like this on the daily, okay, like I have said before, okay, traders must decide whether to take the profits quickly or, 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 or you know, quickly or let them run essentially and as i've always said however in sideways markets which were we are in when we were down here we were we're in a sideways market right now okay taking profits is always the better strategy in this market okay so although i was short before the breakdown 
aiming for a really the daily okay you can bet i was taking profits here because i know that the best strategy in these markets is to take profits early okay so if for example you were long from down here or you managed to get a long in on you know on the way up it would be a little bit naive not to be taking profits at this monthly in in my personal opinion again not financial advice you can do what you want but i do think it would be a little bit of a mistake potentially not to be taking profits at this level because just like it would have been if you were short from here not to take profits here it would also be naive not to take profits up here if you were long down here okay just because at the end of the day we are moving sideways the market is very choppy okay if you look really from that the month where we started a month to where we are now price has moved in a very very small range at the end of the day so uh, that just highlights, uh, yeah, taking profits is, is is really necessary in this sideways market, especially is when you want to be taking them early. And that's just a, a tip I'll give for everyone. But uh, yeah, on the grand scheme of things, if we do get continuation and a close above this level, we have to be looking up at, again, 10, 11K, okay, 11K. But where is the number one, what I would say, uh, resistance here? It has to be the golden pocket. Why the golden pocket? Because at the golden pocket, which sat, sits at 11,150 to around 11,300. So that little pocket there, okay, what do we have here? We have this downward sloping resistance, okay? We have that very clearly. So another potential, bam, 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 you know, pocket of resistance coming in there, okay? So that would be if, 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 if price does this, okay, when, oh, sorry, draw that a little bit there. If we do get a move above that uh, monthly and hold it and back test it and, and we move up, then that would be the next area of target, okay? Obviously, if you start breaking above that, then you're looking all the way up to 12K and, and, and things start getting very bullish, okay? What I would say is... <clears throat> Uh, you know, you are, are potentially seeing a little bit of a bull trap potentially here uh, if price cannot clear the, this this monthly level and a, particularly the 618. So that that's for me is a top side resistance very strong at this moment in time. OK, obviously we, we might not get there, but if we do, then that's the next place I'll be looking at. OK, for, uh, you know, potential big 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 resistance that one not is not to be underestimated okay 618 of this whole move and the particularly in my opinion that downward sloping resistance line all coming together there you can just see how perfect that little box uh could potentially be i would want to see a breakdown but that that potential box right there okay and on the flip side if we do not get that bullish move up on the flip side one has to really simply at this point be looking still down at uh 10 5 to 10 3 okay if you start then dropping below 10 3 you've got this trend line right here which would probably bring you in about 10 3 depending on if this breaks up from here or if it breaks down that would give you a little bit of confluence right there and then really, if you start breaking down from here, uh, just just like you broke down so quickly, price went up really quickly. When price goes up really quickly, it can go down really quickly again. OK, so it's all like, you know, on extreme moves down and extreme moves up. It does create a, a less of a, of a support and price can then go through those levels quick, you know, quickly. So uh, although you've got a short squeeze here, it didn't help that the fact that you went down so fast and you, you had no horizontal support here. So the same, you go up very quickly. Uh, so that's just something to bear in mind um you know we could put on a, a fib from the move but um yeah that would bring you i guess yeah 618 down at 98 again uh but yeah well, I, I would say really short term all i would be looking at is this monthly to this monthly and um you know then this trend line if you lose that monthly and onto the flip side to the upside for if this does get to continuation really you'd be looking at the high here basically nine ten thousand nine fifty but you know eleven thousand up to eleven thousand two hundred being that golden pocket okay that is literally going to be my trades for the next uh potentially it could go what maybe we get it for the rest of this week in this range um but obviously i can do another video to update it if and when we break out of this but that will be what i'll be trading for the majority of the week uh while price is contained within it okay um, so that's everything that I wanted to cover here. Next, I wanted to cover Arthur, Arthur Hayes. So this, this is the CEO of BitMEX. You have to remember the CEO of BitMEX is making a lot of money from people being liquidated. Just bear that in mind. OK, but obviously here he has given obviously not a not a direct comment. He, that would be highly illegal, probably by uh, giving say we're going straight to 20K, obviously. But here we you know, you can read into this what you will. Uh, we'll be two stepping straight to 20,000. And obviously we got this little meme here. You know, the, the, the funny, uh, that's funny. But, you know, all we have to say, I'm um, actually Peachy, by the way, I've been here. I was I was up here. I was right up here on this cliff. And this is like absolutely amazing. If you've ever been Peru, shout out because love the country. Uh, but getting distracted. What a picture. Anyway, but yeah, obviously saying going straight to 20k, you have to let, take a little bit of care because let's remind ourselves what Arthur Hayes tweeted out back at the start of the year. Winter ain't over yet. Again, people were reading into this saying, 
here we go. We're going to be dropping down again. Obviously, he's tweeting this out in February just before a massive rise. OK, so just bear that in mind. He potentially could, uh, we, we, uh, you know, as a trader, I never trade off the tweets. You know, that would be crazy. I trade off of the chart only. But, uh, you know, just like here, he potentially got some people shorting. Is he going to get people longing here and, you know, try and liquidate some more people? I would just be very careful FOMOing into a tweet like this because, you know, the evidence was here. He, he, he probably fooled some people the last time that was tweeted out. So enough on that. I don't really want to, a law case against me against Arthur. Uh, so moving on swiftly. And uh, shout out, I love BitMEX, uh, must say that. Uh, so yeah, just remember, sideways markets, t take profits. Nobody ever went broke taking profits. Trade the range, you know, flip over to line chart. That was extremely helpful yesterday for me to find a uh, a bullish bias. Obviously, because I was in a short, I wanted to find something to hedge myself in a long, and that was my reasoning. I tweeted it out earlier than this. So um, yeah, here it was, just literally after the back test. Uh, and that's exactly like I said, remove any bias and just trade the chart for what it is, okay? So although you might want price to go down or you might want price to go up, literally trade the chart for what it's given you, not for what you want, okay? If you trade for what you want, you'll lose money. If you trade the chart for what it is, you will gain money, potentially if you're a good trader, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's uh, the end of the technical analysis here. I hope that you have all thoroughly enjoyed this video. Shout out to myself again for teaching these legends, these tra these champions now, uh, this, this scalping strategy. Uh, because I've taught them this now in the group. And we had people today making money. They literally, we were, we were trading this well. Uh, but yeah, shout out. Obviously, the champions group is open. This is a little bit of a shill on myself. But if you're interested in learning to trade, it's all fully educational. But uh, if you're interested in learning to trade, then that group's obviously openchartchampions.com. And uh, obviously yesterday uh, was, uh, well, no, two days ago now was the champion stream where I was bullish on two altcoins only and they were Phantom and they were Engine Coin. OK, and literally here we had Phantom and Engine Coin uh, the next day uh, trading for 15 and 10 percent gains. Uh, so that was really, really nice. Uh, but if you look today, they're down. So that's the importance, obviously, of taking profits. OK, that was this one was a target hit perfectly. Uh, but if you're interested in learning to trade, then, yeah, come across and, uh, you know, the group's open now if, if you wish to, uh, you know, join the join the team here. Um, so, yeah, thanks, everybody. Hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have, always appreciate a like uh, or a comment down below. That would be great if you want to. Uh, if not, then, uh, yeah, thank you again, <laughs> I guess. And, uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Keep your eyes on these two monthlies and those FIB levels as mentioned earlier. All right. Cheers, everybody. Thanks. Bye.